Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to switch up and do the mech lab portion first. Um, no particular reason other than I just feel like it. Um, anyway, I want to try to keep this brief this time because it's 9 in the morning and I still haven't slept yet. Somehow my sleep schedule is all messed up. I usually go to sleep around 6 in the morning, 5 in the morning after I'm done with work but for some reason something's got screwed up but anyway um so all right keeping it simple this is the build for the mx90 that i used in the video it's um quite simply just ac2 hex ac2 build so we've got six of those bad boys here and the reason i chose the ac2 over the other ballistics um is because it allows the mech to run endo without chewing up um all of its internals for the bigger auto cannons and if you look at the AC2s now that they reduce the heat, as far as DPS, yes, they are lower on DPS than um, a lot of the other auto cans, but not by a lot. If you really consider the fact that Assault Mech's kind of like face tank anyway, the DPS difference isn't all that big. Grant, when you consider the fact that running the bigger auto cans um, doesn't allow you to run endo without like stripping off armor from the arms and not having backup weapons and you know it just takes away from the character of the mech I think it makes it not a mixed build and just like a boring meta auto cannon toting mech which is brutally effective um, but not fun for me to play in the public use so anyway um, this is what the build is like I said hex AC2 two medium lasers two LRM 10s um, unfortunately like I, I myself will admit this is not a really good mixed build because um, for the tonnage that you invest in the LRM 10s, 10 tons, you really need to be carrying a minimum of 2 tons of LRM ammo to make it worthwhile because it kind of ends up just getting chewed up real quick and then you've got 10 tons of dead weight sitting around that you could have used for um, additional auto can ammo and believe me this this build as you'll see in the video I actually end up running out of ammunition for the auto cannons at the end but um yeah it does go through ammo quite quick so realistically if you want to build a good hex ac2 variant on the mx90 what i suggest you do is um, get rid of the tens and go down to fives which is what i've been doing uh recently i had I, I hate the fact that the mech doesn't have its lrm stacks anymore but you know it's not fun getting rolled by bats in the public queue either just because your mech's out of ammo or something like that so um anyway mm, excuse me hair in my tongue i need a haircut but um yeah lm fives from the tens and then i think i popped the 325 xl in here so it's actually able to move really well and reposition frequently so you're not just like stuck where you engage and you know you fully commit at that point you can actually continuously move and reposition to get better angles and not get nascar on so that's um the build that i would suggest running on it if you're just looking for effectiveness but you know um i like my lrm 10s on my mauler i just i mean like I, like i said in the first video a mauler isn't a mauler without the lrm stacks for me so um, that's what I'm running it as. Once again, no basics in, uh, or not full basics. Yeah, I actually didn't have full basics in this video. So um doesn't show the potential of the mech. But um, I think you'll still get a taste of what it's like. And oh, I meant to say this earlier. I totally forgot because, huh, sleep deprivation. Um, AC2. Why did I go with AC2s? Another reason, yeah, you can run endo and not chew up your internals and still have really good DPS. But... I thought that the quirks synergized best with AC2s because if you take the ballistics range of plus 25 percent without even a module, the AC2 range automatically becomes 900 meters, and the 25 percent velocity buff actually makes it so this slug, the AC2 round, will travel faster than a Gauss rifle. So it's very easy to consistently hit targets at range with these quirks and then you've got ballistic heat generation and like I said earlier, even though the AC2 heat gen has been reduced. When you got six of them, it still piles on the heat. You know, there's just no getting around it. And I thought that that quirk list synergized best with the AC2, so that's why I built it as. And um, also, frankly, like I I I I hate running identical setups on mech variants. Like I want to build a unique mech for each variant. I didn't want to just copy paste my AC2 UAC5 build from the 1R over to this build. I wanted to do something different. And um, 
yeah, so here it is, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and good hunting, mech warriors. Oh, less rage this time in this video for sure, so you won't have to, like, mute it if you have children or family members around. <laughs> Alright, good hunting out there, guys. Bye. Override engaged. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Travis Lord. Heat level critical. Bravo down. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. LRM ammo at 25%. New target acquired. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. LRM ammo depleted. New target acquired. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Target acquired. New 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 target acquired. Target acquired. Help with Kilo. New target. New target acquired. Yeah. Early maybe? Ah, oh, crap, my back is getting shot at. New target acquired. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Override shutdown. Target destroyed. Override shut down. Auto cannon ammo depleted. 
New target acquired. New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Right arm critical damage. Target destroyed. 